Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and to my subscribers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've enjoyed the series and I hope you've been enjoying parts one, two and three. Here we go for some more parts and please don't forget to like my video and to subscribe. In this, I'm doing a video series where I explain terminologies that are used within business studies for grade 10. I've made use of the Platinum Business Studies textbook for grade 10s. I have used Platinum Business Studies grade 10 textbook as a resource and have put that in my description below. I therefore do not take any credit for the information that has been put into this video and into these slides. All right, let's get started. Interdependence. Interdependence is the avoidable interrelatedness of each of the business environments which cannot survive without each other. So these are the different environments that need each other to survive. So if we think about it, it's similar to the micro and the market environment because the micro needs the market. You can't be producing a product and have no clients or customers buying your product. So there's an example of how they are related and they can't survive without each other. The next one is interest rates. This is the percentage you pay when you borrow money. Intermediaries. These are the people or businesses that link the micro environment with the market environment. International public relations. This is creating a good company image and awareness to employees in the company. So in my one of my previous parts videos, I spoke about external public relations. This is now talking about internal. International trade. This is the exchange of goods and services for money with another country. The Johannesburg Securities Exchange, the JSE. This is a trading market for the exchange of shares and stocks in business. It was previously known as the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. This is providing a strategic direction and applying critical thinking. Liabilities. This is the money that is owing to others. Liability is a state of being legally responsible for something. Limited liability. This is the business debts and are not the liabilities of the members. Location. This is a geographic situation of a business. So exactly where the business is positioned. Are they within South Africa? Are they within Germany, Denmark? So that's what they're referring to, the location. Long-term insurance. This is life insurance. It is paid out on death and disability insurance. Lower management. The level of management responsible for operations. So as you'll see as we go through these parts, videos, we've got lower management, middle management, and top management. Obviously, if you critically think about it, it's what level they are in within the business. So obviously the lower management is looking at your operation. Your middle managers, middle management is your supervisors and your managers. And then obviously top managers are your CEOs, CFOs, and your board of directors. But we will go through those all in these videos. Management information system. This is a mechanism or process to control information in the business. Market research. The systematic gathering, recording and analyzing of data about the marketing of goods and services. So with market research, this is basically seeing who is going to buy our products. What are their ages? Where do they live? What are their interests? So all companies need to do market research to see if their product is going to sell. So I'm thinking of another example. 
let's think of selling knitted sweaters for example and you research within your area that people don't really wear knit knitwear then your product isn't going to do so well perhaps it's trending now because of fashion and therefore people are buying trendy scarves and trendy beanies and trendy sweaters so that's where the market research comes in you need to check are there people who want to buy my product are interested in my product and is this a viable business opportunity then we have a marketing plan this is a strategy put in place that outlines and identifies how you are going to sell your goods and services. So the marketing plan can include so much. Nowadays, marketing is very, very, very important in a business, specifically for social media. So within this marketing plan, they need to include social media, posts, are they gonna post videos, scheduling those posts? Should they be posting on Instagram, TikTok, make YouTube videos? So that's where the marketing plan comes in. Marketing plan also will include with the brand, are they perhaps going to purchase a few billboards, rent out billboards, hand out flyers. I mean, gone are the days that you walk in a mall and you get flyers of a new product, but it can still work. So with this marketing plan, it's basically how exactly you are going to market the product where are you going to find your customers and this marketing plan is very important that it gets updated regularly because things change and systems change technology is changing by the day so it's important that this gets updated every few months if not every year matrix structure this is employees they report to their functional manager and a project manager member interest this is how much shareholding a member has in the company. So if you are buying shares into that company, it is how much you are holding of those shares. Micro enterprises. These are businesses that have between one to five employees. Micro meaning small. Then we have the micro environment. This is the immediate environment in which the business functions. So with the micro environment, I will be making a video. It's actually in the process of being made. So don't forget to check that out. With the micro environment, we are looking specifically in depth at the company. So this looks at the employees. It looks at all of the functions, the operations. So it's everything within the company and what the company stands for. And remembering these are things that we can control. Middle management, I spoke about this earlier. The level of management responsible for tactical decisions and procedures. So as I said, these include your supervisors and managers. So they need to make decisions. So your lower level management doesn't necessarily make decisions or very big and important decisions, but your middle level management definitely does. And they need to report to the top management. Natural resources. These are things found naturally in the environment, such as water and minerals. Needs. These are goods and services required for daily life and health. So the difference in business as well, you look at the needs and the wants. So with these needs, these are essential. People need this to survive. And these can include small things as well. When you're looking at needs, the needs can be different of customers, but everybody needs bread. Everybody probably has butter and eggs and milk in their house. So those are essential things that people have in their house. But when we're looking at once, those are more your luxury things, luxury jewelry, luxury clothing. So it's very important to distinguish the two. And it's very important to see where your business falls. Is your business more a need that people have or more luxury goods like a want? Non-governmental organizations. 
These are community-based organizations that have a goal to improve society and that are not in for the profit. So they don't make profit. Objectives are things aimed or sought at as seen as goals. Opportunities. These are chances to use an aspect of the market environment to increase sales and profits. So when looking at the SWOT analysis, that's where this opportunities is coming in. So remember the SWOT analysis, there are four. There's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Remembering strengths and weaknesses are internal. Opportunities and threats are external things. So when we're looking at an opportunity, it's perhaps expanding in the market, perhaps adding new product lines, looking at the market, what can increase profits. Organizational structure. Who does which tasks in the organization? We've spoken about this one as well before with different business functions. So who does what tasks in the business? Organizing. This is ensuring that the right people are in place to carry out the right functions. Organogram. This is an illustration of a hierar hierarchical structure of a business. So this shows the whole business. So CEO, then it moves down to perhaps your managers, your manager of HR, manager of finance, manager of IT, manager of operations, for example. Then each of those managers are going to have teams under them. So you've got the HR department at the bottom. And this normally forms a pyramid going from wide to smaller, okay? Nowadays, it's more of a reversed or more of a flattened pyramid. Instead of having this department reports to that department, then reports to that department, it's been changing to make it a bit more flatter. Therefore, everyone's involved in decision making. So we'll dive more into that in a different topic, but that's what we're looking at when we're talking about an organogram. So every company has an organogram. It's also nice to see it shows who reports to who and who is in what department. Outsource. To enter into a contract with an outside supplier for a certain service. So I know a lot of companies outsource their bookkeeping and accounting side of business. So you have a company that has been selected and they solely manage your finances. Perhaps it's wages, perhaps it's um, your payroll. So they control those finances as an example that I'm making use of. Overdraft. This is money drawn from an account which is more than the amount that is in the bank. Parastatals, these are government-owned businesses. Participation, this is taking active part in something. Parties of a contract, these are people who have reached a legal agreement. Partnership agreement. A document that states the responsibilities of each partner and their agreements to ensure that the business operates optimally. A patent. Legal protection of an invention. So it's similar to a copyright, but they do have their differences. So this is legal protection. So when you patent something, perhaps you've got this really cool shoe cleaner you patent that. That is your property. If anyone makes the same product and uses their name, it is then illegal. People. These are all the people who are in some way involved in or who have an impact in the business. Persevere. This is to maintain effort and not give up in spite of obstacles. Personal tax. This is a percentage paid to the government on the amount of personal income earned from the business. I want to thank you for watching my video. I do appreciate the support. Don't forget, 
there is another part and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye.